So one of my favorite text editing programs only works on Windows. It's called Notepad++, and it's free. But why doesn't it run on Mac? Well, there's a way to make it run on Mac. Now, granted, if you have parallels and you're doing virtualization, you could do Windows 11 or Windows 10, and you could run it there. Great. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you just want to run it? Have you ever heard of Wine or Crossover Office or X Windows? Well, there's the Windows emulation system is kind of built into Mac OS because it's part of Linux, and Linux is based, well, Unix and Linux. And with Mac OS based off BSD, it's there. You just got to use it. So we're going to install a port, a tool that lets us use it. So we're going to do that, and then, then we'll see what happens. Go on, we're at portingkit.com. That's where we are. So we're going to go and click download. And I'm, I'm, I'm partial to DMG files. I'm going to download the DMG file. And then I'll do open file. And it oh, drag it over the applications. I can do that. That was a pretty quick copy. And let's go to porting kit. Now, it's probably going to say, hey, you downloaded this from the internet. Are you sure you want to run it? Yes, yes, I do. Can't wait for the bouncing ball. Continue. Uh, let's see, well, that's interesting. As we go read it. <laughs> All right. I access my downloads folder. Yes, I'm going to allow that. That's where I'm going to download stuff anyway. I don't think I want it to allow it to access my desktop folder. It's optional anyway, so I'm going to say no. The paranoia inside of me says no. Don't want to send crashing usage data. Uh, it's optional. I'm going to say no. And, yep, I'm fine with that. Put it up on applications. Eh, banner style, icon style. What's icon style? In fact, I didn't change. All right, pull it banner style. Because you can use this to play Windows games on Mac OS as well. All right. Not for yet. No, I'm not going to do that. I do have a GOG.com account, but that's a different topic. All I want, I can also allow Steam integration. Yes, if I were going to use it for gaming, I'd want to do all those things. So, welcome to the porting kit. And I just want one application. So I gotta go find it. More about us, news, games. Nope, don't care about games. I just want. Notepad. So. Install that. Yes, great. And install now. Download porting kit. I have that. Install. Yes. Guess I probably should have said yes, allow it to control the app. Alright, so now we go through a Notepad install. system of documents. Okay. Why do we need that? Alright, it says I need G Streamer. 
Go install it. All right. I'd log in to allow that. stuff to do just to install notepad plus plus isn't it now here it is i recognize this now it's a little bit older version not too bad though install run and there it is sure yes 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 I like that it knows it was running in older versions. Hey, let me update it. So, ta-da. And what are you running now? Notepad++. Now, question is, what's this gonna be like running on a Mac? Is it gonna be pretty cool? So, I'm gonna create a new file. Okay, it won't be pretty, but it'll be saved. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Where is it gonna save it? So this looks very Windows-like right here. Well, so I'll make a new folder. All right, but well, we're gonna do it anyway. All right, index.html. All right, so there we go. Save. So there's my file. Hmm, but how do I get to it? Let's go see what happens if I go to documents. There's my file right there. Let's see now if I create a new folder. Can't seem to type. Let's try it. And then. I'll move this file to my website. Okay. Do I get an option to say open with Notepad++? No. But, here I am. Go here. Yes, keep an editor. Let's go file open. And website. And HTML. So yeah, we can do this. This is workable. This is a workable solution. So, we'll see what happens. I'll play around with it. We'll see if things blow up, but hopefully they don't. Thanks for watching. Bye.